Most of the water from today's downpour is gone, but it happened at the worst time during the afternoon commute. Yeah, and 10 on your side's Brett Hall is live in Portsmouth. They talk to frustrated drivers trying to get home without getting flooded, Brett. Trying to get home, or for me, trying to get in. I couldn't get off George Washington Highway and go up Effingham or Frederick Boulevard. All of it having water that would go right into a sedan's engine compartment. Something not very good. But what really frustrates people is that there were no city workers there or signs to warn them. The Monday afternoon commute through downtown Portsmouth might have been better described as a water ride. Water's up here on my bike. People still going, but they keep us stuck. The water's deeper that way. Some decided to make it an off-roading experience. We had a couple cars get stuck in the water. We had a couple cars get stuck in the yard. Either way, Mike Cardona, who lives on Greenwood Drive, is frustrated. If they bust somebody's water line, who's going to pay for it? Frustrated because in a year's time, this is far from the first time this has happened. I walked out into it, did it flood it before now? It was about to my knees. He says the city knows it's a problem. I called three times to have somebody come out here and do something, at least stop the traffic or something to keep them out of the yard. But nobody ever came out. Not until the storm water began to recede did we witness crews out in the streets trying to clear the drains in the area. Cardona says he understands that with nearly three inches of rain falling, crews were busy. It was pretty bad, yeah. However, he says it's something that needs to be addressed before someone is seriously hurt. And in fairness, the city of Portsmouth is planning on addressing flooding issues, recently getting a grant from the federal government to help build a pump station in Old Town, which they saw flooding today in Old Town as well. However, people still want to see more in a challenge that is growing every single year here in Hampton Roads. We're live in Portsmouth. Brett Hall, 10 on your side. All right, Brett.